Hello, welcome to the video. Today we are going to be reading a bunch of graphic novels and comics. I am thrilled. Let's get into what we're gonna read. Let's not waste any time. The first book on the list is an ebook from my library, which is The Dragonette Prophecy by Tui T. Sutherland. This sounds interesting. I just picked this up on a whim because it was available at the library and we'll see how it goes. I, I have no expectations. I know it's middle grade or young adult. I don't actually know, but it's a graphic novel. I believe it was originally a full length novel. I, I'm not sure. We'll talk more about it when we get to it. <laughs> Next, we have the three volumes of The Search for the Avatar Last Airbender comic series. It's even better than the show, in my opinion, for the experience because it has that nostalgia to it. I've watched the show. I loved it as a child. I grew up with that show. And then reading the comics is just a little bit sweeter because I have that nostalgia to look back on. Amazing quality. Whoever is writing these books is amazing. Next we have something really adorable that I found at my library. This is Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue, the manga printed by Disney. It's an actual manga and the art is actually in manga style, that Japanese style. I'm obsessed. I loved the series as a child so I'm excited to read this little like manga of it. It seems silly to most people probably but I'm really excited about it. Anyway those are the books that I plan to read for this video so let's just jump right into it. Okay so I forgot to update you but I read two comic slash graphic novels <laughs> the last few days and I just needed to sit on my thoughts. The first one is Wings of Fire the graphic novel and I had heard nothing about this book. I just picked it up from the library. <laughs> it was a quick, you know, already available ebook and I just picked it up knowing nothing about it other than there were dragons in it. It's called Wings of Fire and it is a children's or middle grade uh, novel that's been adapted into a graphic novel. This blew my mind blew my mind. It was really good. I didn't have any expectations going in, but it still somehow surprised me. I really, really enjoyed this book. It was really fun. I felt like the characters were all extremely unique. I felt like the world was very vast and old, which is good. It felt real. And I really enjoyed the plot of it. <laughs> it actually had me gasping and I will absolutely in the future be picking up another one of these books. Probably not in this video, but very soon because I was very pleasantly surprised. The other comic that I read was Avatar The Last Airbender The Search Part 1. I really, really loved this book and <laughs> I loved the first trilogy in the Avatar Last Airbender comics that was called The Promise. I thought that was a very, very good addition to the series and the world. The search so far, I can already tell, is going to be so much better <laughs> than The Promise. Not that The Promise was bad, I still think I gave it five stars, but this was like six out of five stars if we're gonna compare them. It was just so emotional. Maybe it's because we're following characters that I care more about. This is following Zuko and Azula. I'm trash for Zuko and I'm trash for Azula. You get so much that's not in the original series that I feel like really, really changes my opinion on a lot of things. Yeah, I'm really excited. And I also today finished part two of this series. I can already tell I'm going to probably cry in the third volume because this second volume had me emotional. So I didn't cry, but it was emotional. So I'm very nervous, very skeptical. I'm probably going to read that third volume tomorrow. Yeah, next I think I'm gonna end up picking up one of the physical ones I got from the library. I'm thinking the Tinkerbell one because I don't know it feels cute and quirky and whimsical and it's been raining so seems appropriate to me. Hubs is coming back with some french fries so I gotta go. Hello, I'm sorry I look like an actual mess. It's because I am. <laughs> it's been a very hard few days with me and the child so Please bear with me, but I finished Tinkerbell. It was pretty cute. If you've read the original book or seen the movie, it is exactly that. It was very well done. 
The translation was a little cold and a little bit choppy at times, but otherwise it's exactly the story. <laughs> I don't feel like I needed to reread it, so kind of a waste of time, but the art was really pretty. So gonna move on to the next thing now. I'll let you know what that is. Hello! I finished part three of The Search in the Avatar Last Airbender comics, and my heart is broken. It has been shredded, torn to pieces, and sewn back together again. Wow, this is probably my favorite of the comic trilogies so far, although I've only read two, The Promise and The Search. This one was just... it was something else. I was so right in my last update for this series. I loved it, and I'm gonna continue on with the rest of the comic series in my next part two of this graphic novel kind of series that I have going on here. I am so happy with this. If you enjoyed the show, you will probably enjoy the comics just as much or even more because of the nostalgia. <sighs> let's get on with more graphic novels! We're on a roll! Let's do this! I'm feeling so passionate and I'm feeling so good right now. Let's just keep going! Okay, hello. So, it's been a few days <laughs> after I finished part three of The Search. As you can see from what I'm holding right now, I picked up the graphic novel series of Wings of Fire from Costco <laughs> the other day because they were really cheap. These are usually $13 per little volume, but Costco had them for only like seven or eight dollars each. How could I say no when I was so surprised by how good these were? So I picked up <laughs> book one, book two, book three, and book six. They did not have four and five unfortunately, but I will just read those online and then find them later, or I will look around to see if I can find <laughs> books four and five in graphic novel form. I finished volume one of Lumberjanes last night, which is called Beware the Kitten Holy. I picked up this graphic novel because it was available at my library for free, and I was kind of interested in what the hype was all about. I was not interested in this series at all on my own, but I did see <laughs> some really good reviews of it and I saw it at the library and it was available now and it was a quick little comic book graphic novel with, I think it's an all-female cast, so it seemed fun to me and I'm glad I picked it up. It was a lot better than I expected and I really enjoyed it. It was quick, it was funny, and there were a lot of like paranormal creatures which I didn't expect. I, I really went in with no expectations and I thought it was really cute. I really enjoyed the like strong female energy going on and I thought it was pretty quirky. It reminded me a lot of Nimona, but I thought it was a lot better than Nimona. And then I looked and they're by the same author, so I guess that makes sense. And then because I was trying to avoid my problems and not be <laughs> wallowing in my menstrual discomfort, I also finished the graphic novel, or I guess it's like a collection of 10 volumes in one called Day Tripper. I really enjoyed this. I had checked this out from my library physically about two and a half years ago, and I didn't know anything about it, just that there's a man and a typewriter and a dog on the cover. So I expected it to be pretty wholesome and kind of quirky and obviously with a theme of literature, but wow was this an acid trip of a book. <laughs> it was way different than I expected from the cover and I'm so glad that I read it. It was really a journey <laughs> to go on without spoiling it. It is about a man and it is his entire life. It jumps around from like, you know, 10 years old to 70 to 25 to 35 to 17, you know, it does that kind of thing. But it's very, very, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's all about like the meaning of life and family and basically it's about a guy who writes obituaries in a newspaper about the people who live in Brazil and die in Sao Paulo where he lives. And it's about him coming into wanting to be a writer and publish his first novel, but it's also about these chapters of his life that take place at certain ages and those life events and it's partially metaphorical but partially an actual account of his life and the metaphorical part is like he writes an obituary for every chapter of his life that you get to see as if he had died in that moment and it was fascinating but it is like an acid trip to go on it is a dream like 
story with this like really quirky style of storytelling but it is so brilliantly paced there's so much craft behind how the story was put together like panel to panel the transitions were obviously really well thought through the messages were well thought through the characters were really deep i i don't think i've ever read a comic or a graphic novel that was this deep if that makes any sense like i've read them with deep topics but i think the way that this was written it would be an amazing movie it, it's very confusing to read at first and then it all kind of clicks into place after a while anyway <laughs> it was brilliant the community on goodreads seems to be pretty divided about this book but i land on the side that i think it was really brilliantly done really well done really good and it surprised me i i thoroughly enjoyed the reading experience although it left me feeling like in this weird dreamlike stepped out of my body kind of feeling for the rest of the day i don't know but i thought it was really excellent pleasant surprise last night <laughs> pleasant surprise and that is the end of the video friends thank you so so much for watching we read so many amazing graphic novels and comics today i am so happy and i feel super super passionate after reading just so many different stories in this very visual and interactive medium i am so pleased with this experience thank you so much for watching we have a part two coming out pretty soon stay tuned for that if you're interested let me know down below if you have any graphic novels or comic recommendations and let me know your favorite one. I will see you next time, siblings. Stay safe and stay kind. I still remember how it used to be Holding hands, running wild and free